how do you find the right documents? The analogy that I uh, tell my students is if we make a poor selection, uh, it's like going down the wrong rabbit hole. Uh, we get misinformation, we're not looking at the right information, uh, and then we're making some wrong assumptions. So finding this correct documentation uh, is a huge step uh, in the right direction. So first of all, it sounds kind of odd when I say this, but don't be on the website. Uh, most websites that are not that complex and an internal search on the website could produce uh, an, uh, an expected result, something that you're looking for. Uh, so, but if you're uh, not on the website and you're on the outside on the internet looking in, uh, this is where I'm going to share with you. I think you get a better, complete look as to what is going on uh, in that website. So from within the website, when you're logged into that website, you're restricted to use the search engine uh, that they're providing uh, on the website. Uh, not saying that it could be bad, uh, but it's not your choice, it's their choice at that point. For a less complex website, this could work out uh, satisfactory. But if you have a complex website like Cisco.com, you could have varying degrees of success. So how do you know whenever you've had good success or, or, or less than good success? That's where uh, this golden nugget uh, comes into play. But when you're not on the website, uh, you have several things to your advantage. First of all, you pick the search engine. Uh, we probably all have our favorites. I know I do. Uh, but uh, uh, they all have their pluses and plus pluses, meaning that they're, they're good ones and they're, they're uh, even better than uh, good ones. Also, uh, the web crawlers, I call them web crawlers, uh, that these search engines utilize, uh, they're spending 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, searching through the inter internet and indexing things that it's finding, like on Cisco.com, it's finding these uh, vague, less uh, uh, traveled areas, so to speak, of the website, uh, and can index it so that it has a better, more complete uh, view. And it sounds kind of odd, uh, but it has even a better, complete view from the outside looking in uh, than their own uh, 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 search engine uh, built into it. Uh, so by having that indexing, then you can get more complex uh, in your searches. In fact, uh, the, you can narrow it down and I believe uh, make your uh, a very uh, specific search. Now, uh, here's an example of an internal search. You can see up here uh, that I have logged in. Uh, I'm logged in uh, under my ID I'm on the Cisco website and I'm putting in a simple search. It's called just UCCE certifications. So this is using the internal search engine uh, of the website and it can produce uh, a, uh, a desired result. So here you can actually see uh, that there is a, a certification associated with UCCE and you can get more details about it. Uh, the difference look, though, is if it's an external search, uh, we are not on the website. Uh, this is an example uh, that I'm logged into. In my, my case, I have a Google uh, account, and I'm using that uh, for doing my searches. I put the same three words in, uh, and it's good to put Cisco in front uh, because that's narrowing it down uh, to where you're looking for it because if you just put UCCE certifications, you may find things uh, that other websites uh, talk about uh, those Cisco certifications. We Here's an example. We want to get the information that Cisco says about it. And again, you can see uh, the same results. 
Now, just in these examples, you can say, well, wait a minute, it's exactly the same information. You're right if it's a more simple type search. The more complex the search on the internal search engine, I have seen it quite frequently, uh, but Cisco is a complex website. You may actually see on page three, page four, page five, what you're looking for. And you may have to keep looking and looking uh, to find it. When it seems like when you're off the website looking into uh, a website, uh, you may find this on, on the, the first couple of lines, the first couple of results that it uh, uh, replies back with. So the experience that I've had, you get a better, quicker uh, results by doing that external uh, uh, search type of example. Now, once you find the documents, what do I do with that information? I, uh, what is the correct version? that I need to have, okay? Because you'll see uh, Cisco may have multiple different versions uh, of the document. So we want to download the newest, and don't stop there, not newer. First of all, you need to know your products uh, that you're uh, dealing with. Uh, it is a complex solution. Uh, and just look at the core components, everything from your communications manager to CVP to UCCE uh, uh, that have finesse, uh, intelligence center for reporting. Uh, they have optional components that can fit into your uh, scheme of things. Uh, enterprise chat and email, silent monitoring, uh, remote expert. And then you even have third party components, everything from DNS servers, automatic speech recognition, text-to-speech service, uh, workforce management. So you can see there's a lot of different products out there. So first you need to narrow it down to the correct product in that search that you're looking for. In fact, I go so far uh, as even try and put the version. So here's an example. Let's say we're talking about CVP, Cisco Voice Portal. Uh, uh, if you're not familiar with that acronym, uh, it's the IVR in this Unified Contact Center Enterprise uh, solution. And so let's say you're uh, looking and you see uh, uh, you're running that version 11.5 of the software. And you're looking for a user guide associated with it, but your search reveals a 11.0 version and a 12.0 version. You download the newest, not newer, okay? So if we're looking, uh, we have 11.5, then the newest, not newer, uh, uh, would be 11.0, okay? They, Cisco does not just update documentation just to match a new uh, release of the software if the information hasn't changed. So you've got to understand that tidbit. Uh, but whenever information within the document changes, then they match it to the version of software. So here in our example, we would want version 11 of the documents, which is the newest, not newer, uh, that we have, so that we are assured that we have good information. If we made a mistake and only went to the first part of it, download the newest, and you forgot the second part of it, you would download version 12. Now, all bets are off. You don't know what you're getting. You don't know what is right, what has changed. Something has changed. Now, does this uh, uh, analogy, uh, newest, not newer, apply only to documentation? Well, it can apply to several things. Uh, uh, of course, documentation, as we've seen, it can also apply to Unified Intelligence Center. Uh, this is the reporting application. Now, the reporting application, there they update the templates that you're downloading the information. They're staying in sync. Uh, CVP has uh, their own reporting templates. You need to get the newest, not newer templates, and that way you're getting all the information relative to what uh, you want to be able to get. So again, uh, if you get newer uh, uh, templates than what you're running, uh, now you don't know 
Uh, there could be uh, blank fields in, in uh, uh, reports that also software upgrades. When you're doing a software upgrade, uh, you give, have to very specifically know where am I going from and where am I going to. The two is usually easy, meaning that uh, if you're a customer, you've contracted with a technology partner that's going to help you with those software upgrades. If you're the technology partner, you got to get to know your customer. Uh, you've already negotiated and talked with it where you're going to go to. Now you have to be very specific. Look at the software itself. Don't find out exactly the version. Then when you go look at the documentation, make sure you're getting the from and to exactly. Cisco does a very good do uh, job of documenting things like that as long as we're looking uh, at the right document uh, for that references. So uh, this is a guiding principle uh, when dealing with any technology. I have shared all this having to do with UCCE, uh, and it is very true. Uh, you saw the complexity when I showed you how many different products all come together uh, to build what we call uh, UCCE, uh, but it can deal with other technology as well. So uh, uh, it's a, a good golden nugget, in my opinion, uh, to take a hold of, uh, uh, embrace it, uh, march to that drumbeat, uh, get the newest, uh, not newer, whenever you're uh, uh, looking at things.